Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting held remotely. During the meeting, the cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's confidence in Team Bahrain's national efforts aimed at combating the COVID-19, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Majesty's continued commitment to safeguarding the health of the kingdom's citizens and residents. The cabinet emphasized the importance of continuing to implement initiatives to support national efforts to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 to protect public health, as well as to enhance stability across various sectors to achieve the kingdom's economic goals. Following a recent circular published by the Central Bank of Bahrain, the cabinet noted the financial sector's swift response to postponed loan installments owed by individuals and companies for a period of six months, which will further support the economy during these unprecedented times. Then the cabinet welcomed Bahrain's re-election to the Executive Council of the UN World Tourism Organization, stressing that this achievement strengthens the kingdom's contributions to further developing the tourism sector. On the occasion of World Environment Day, the cabinet reaffirmed the kingdom's commitment to adopt initiatives that promote environmental protection and a culture of preservation and sustainability. The cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting and outlined the following outcomes. Firstly, the approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum between the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs and the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs regarding the legalization of the use of government lands by private bodies working in the field of youth and sports, the regulation of uh, use fruct rights and the unification of their ownership. A memorandum by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs regarding the technical cooperation program in the field of conformity assessment procedures for degrading plastic products between the Supreme Council for the Environment in Bahrain and the Saudi Organization for Standardization, Metrology and Quality. The memorandum follows on the outputs of the Coordination Committee in the fields of economy, energy, trade and industry within the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, which aims to strengthen bilateral cooperation in the field of environmental preservation and human health. A memorandum by the Minister of Health regarding the postponement of the decision to organize periodic medical examination for workers in industrial and commercial establishments related to public health. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding cooperation between the Ministry and the Saudi Authority for Intellectual Property, which follows on the outputs of the Coordination Committee in the fields of economy, energy, trade and industry within the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council. A memorandum of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's responses to seven proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. Secondly, the Cabinet reviewed the following topic. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the law regulating the collection of money for public purposes and the implementation of regulations and assigning a committee consisting of the concerned ministries to study the proposal and make recommendations in this regard. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure in the victory of Bahrain victorious cycling team in the Tour of Italy. His Highness affirmed that the team works as an integrated professional system and that all the team members share the goal of making achievements for the kingdom and contributing in its economic promotion as well as achieving the country's economic vision of 2030. Sheikh Nasser highlighted the great effort exerted by the entire team, noting that everyone is following a well-studied and long-term plan. He noted that it has achieved many gains in its previous and various international participations. His Highness said that the victory will have positive reflections on the team to continue making achievements during the coming period, hailing the efforts of the technical and administrative bodies as well as the cyclists, wishing them all success. 
The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Al Asumi, met with the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghaid at the League's headquarters in Cairo. Abul Ghaid praised the tremendous efforts made by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the security and stability of the region. He also lauded His Majesty the King's support to joint Arab action and strengthening Arab integration and cooperation in various fields. Abul Ghaid also commended Bahrain's diplomacy, characterized by its moderation and leading role in consolidating international relations between Bahrain and other countries. Abu al highlighted His Majesty the King's remarkable role and wise leadership in supporting, protecting and maintaining Arab national security through the Kingdom's wise foreign policy that has consolidated its position and strengthened its active presence regionally and internationally, hailing the Kingdom's achievements in all areas. In implementation of the decisions of the Executive Committee and the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 and in compliance with the directives of the Civil Service Bureau regarding the mandatory rapid test of COVID-19 for the public sector employees, the, minister, the Ministry of Information began to conduct a rapid COVID-19 test for all on-duty employees in accordance with the precautionary measures to ensure the health and safety of all employees. The Ministry organized a training workshop for the periodic examination team with the participation of 20 volunteers from the ministry staff. They were shown the mechanism of dealing with rapid tests in the right way and the best practices in the field of organizing medical checkup campaigns and ensuring the safety of employees. The ministry's rapid test a whole witnessed a large turnout of employees out of commitment to help reduce the spread of the virus and ensure the safety of the community. They praised the smooth procedures and the efforts of the volunteer team who are organizing and conducting the examination process. The Health Ministry took action yesterday against 38 restaurants and cafes for violating mandatory precautionary measures in coordination with the Ministry of Interior and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, the BTEA. The Food Control Section at the Public Health Directorate visited 192 restaurants and cafes from various directorates in the Kingdom. The Ministry of Health said that based on these mandatory precautionary measures and protocols, a restaurant has been shut down for one week. Owners whose outlets were warned to remove the irregularities immediately in compliance with the mandatory precaution measures. The inspectors called on everyone to continue commitment and a spirit of high responsibility and to immediately report any violations they may spot. The Civil Aviation Affairs added Vietnam to its travel red list. Effective tomorrow, entry of travelers from red list countries is limited to citizens and valid residency visa holders who must present evidence with a QR code of a negative PCR test conducted within 48 hours of departure. They will be further tested upon arrival and on day 10 of their stay. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 924,530 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 782,374 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 28,758 with 2,484 recoveries and 2,458 registered new cases. 1,091 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,363 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Tax Force for combating the coronavirus.